Attention, please. Frank Warren is about to speak. Silence in the room. Go on, Frank. There you go. Uh, right. We're here today, again, with uh, Tyson Fury, Mick Hennessy, Peter Fury, Young Fury, and you at the end. And uh, we're here today to announce that, uh, as you're all aware, Box Nation will be broadcasting um, Tyson's de first defence of his title against uh, Vladimir Klitschko at the MEN Arena in Manchester, and it will be shown live on Box Nation. Um, we're highly delighted that uh, we've been able to get involved and help and assist that Tyson's challenges in the UK, he didn't have to go to Germany, and I think that um, we all worked hard to make sure that happened. And you know, from my point of view, um, being involved in our channel broadcasting, the real heavyweight champion of the world's first defence uh, is, is uh, a privilege and we're very proud to that it's on the channel. All the guys are here. I know you've got lots of questions to ask, so please feel free to ask them. Did you try and get a football stadium for that fight at all? There was, I mean, if, if, so why not? I mean, would have filled out Old Trafford or? They're not available because of the, they're not available. Is it too near? Too near, the, too near the season, so that was the, that was the problem. And it was either that or go to Germany. And uh, you know, Mick, I'm sure, can explain it better than I can. Yeah, the, um, as Frank said, the stadiums just weren't available. And sometimes from stadiums, there comes a lot of other problems, such as costs and production and so on and so forth. Uh, I mean, the MEN is the, the biggest indoor arena in Europe. It's a, it's a facility where we can, we can maximise things. Um, and it's always got an incredible at atmosphere there. So that was important to, to Tyson and Peter and myself um, to make sure that it, you know this is a, a hell of a, an event and it comes across right on TV and with the crowd. So that was that was part of our decision. And it holds it holds six thousand more there's six thousand more tickets to sell at the MEN, MEN than there is at the O2 in London. So. Mick said it's the biggest event, biggest venue in indoor venue in, in Europe, so that's why it's happening now. <coughs> How important was it to you to get the fight in Manchester? It wasn't very important to get it in Manchester. Not very important, no. It was very important that I wasn't going to go back to Germany. That was the fact. I wouldn't go back to Germany, end off. I don't care what it was offering. I wasn't going to get a decision. That's a knock him out. Um, that would be an hard thing, but... It, uh, England, it's in England, wherever it is, I'm not really too bothered, let's get the fight on, that's all I can say about it really. It is, it's, it's good that it's in Manchester, but as I'm the Gypsy King, there's no way, I don't have an hometown, so wherever I want to go in the world is my own town, because I'm a traveller. I travel around the world and I make my own town, so I just pull my little trailer up, upside of someone's garden, make a mess and I move on, on to the next place. So that's why they call me the Gypsy King. I'm the king at making mess. <laughs> Next question. Tarsen, do you think Pitchcombe will try and do anything different in this fight? Well, if he don't, he's on for another riding, isn't he? <laughs> he's got to come and try and fight, or else he's uh, not going to do anything. He, he couldn't beat me on his first A game, so he's not going to beat me second time round. I told the world he couldn't beat me. I told the world he was no good. I told them that my boxing ability was too much for any of them. But they don't listen, so I end up with all the belts on it number one uh, fighter on the planet, so there we are. He's, He's got to come and try and do something, hasn't he? He's on your radar David is a pussy, don't even mention it. Say that again, that's what he is. Anybody else? What did you think of uh, Joshua? I, just, I thought he looked like a pumped up weightlifter, out of his mind on drugs, that's what I thought he looked like. And he, he, he fought an American who come to lay down, who had about as much fighting as that glass of water on there, zero. And he wouldn't, he wouldn't surprise me if he took a few quid to lay down as well. All these Americans are bums, bum cities. I'll tell you that now. Can't fight. Tyson, you have a renowned sort of history of boxing. Where would you place Joshua's opponent in the title of the ranked heavyweight champions? Wouldn't place him anywhere. He was bought the title, he was given it. I'm the real champion, me, the Gypsy King. And if he can't beat me, then we're not world champions. Listen, without me, he wouldn't have even been a world champion. Joshua or his friend 
his play partner, wouldn't have been uh, world champions because he wouldn't have relieved Klitschko the IBF title. It takes a real man to relieve a, a super champion of his belt, not some weightlifters and some bums who's coming over here for a few more dollars so he can go back home. End of. They can't fight, they're not fighting men, they're bums. Listen, the British public's filled by bums, I'll give you that. But when real men come along, like myself, who can fight, talk, walk, dance, sing, shag, whatever you want, I can do it. Yeah? Because I'm the man. So none of these men can be in any departments, because I'm the king of it all. And if anybody out there want to fight, let's get it on. Simple. You might be brainwashed by some pussy like Eddie Earn, who can't be 10% of the man I am, and take the back of my hand to Eddie Earn, slap, and you won't be able to do anything about it. So, if someone like that can convince anybody that somebody's a king and somebody's a great fighter, then they're just doing it sound. Because he, he's a nobody and he's a daddy's boy, a little idiot. He's had a lot to say, but in real life he wouldn't say that. Because he gets slapped up the ear and he couldn't do nothing about it. He'd walk away his hand in his ear like that. Because that's what real men do to bitches, we slap them. And not. That's not bitches and women, so don't try and interpret that in a different way. <coughs> Anybody more questions? I was wondering, what's changed since you went to Germany? Why would you not get this decision now that you did there? Because, listen, don't try and take face twice. Take fake twice. One was good enough, and I'm happy with that. Let him come here. But you've not heard anything suggest that that would happen, or that's just you looking at it? Listen, I've not heard anything, but let him come here, the German prick. Nobody, nobody <laughs> thought you would get the decision in Germany. What a question of winning, but I don't think anybody <coughs> they would have got the decision. Very, very, very rare to get a win out there. There's quite a few British boxers who, um, over recent years, who will confirm that. So, you know, it's a result, and why, you know, is it going to quite agree, why 10th fate? What? Uh, Press uh, questions. Uh, yes, this uh, when, when you, there's a lot of talk now about uh, Anthony Joshua and yourself, but uh, are, you, are you thinking of going that way or, or against uh, Downtree Wilder? Because you already officially own the belt that Anthony Joshua had. I did. Listen. You know, the, uh, the fight I've got to worry about is Vlad, because Vlad's ten times the amount of any of them world champions. Yes. You, don't get, you don't become a super champion and hold the belt for ten years if you're no good. No. He might have had an off night. He might have lost on purpose. I might be in for a hell of a hiding on the, uh, June the 9th, uh, July the 9th. We don't know. We've got to get past him first. So it's no good talking about these other ones until I beat the man who was the man. Yeah. So I've got to get past him first. And providing I can do that, then I'll, I'll fight all of them. They're easy paydays. I'll take up the British ones first, because they're the easiest. I'll leave the Americans till afterwards. I believe you will beat uh, Klitschko a second time. Hopefully. Keep your fingers crossed and say a prayer for me. Thank you. Come on. One, one thing's for sure, Klitschko can't come here and do what he did last time. He's going to have to come and fight. He's going to have, as soon as that bell goes, he's got to come and fight. He can't have the same tactics as last time. So I think you're going to see a little bit of a special fight. And I think the good thing about Tyson, he's, he's, he's so, he can adapt to any style as he's shown over his, last, over his last few fights. So it's going to be, I don't think it'll be anything like the last fight, it's going to be a totally different fight. Tim Spencer, how does Fury's development compare to Tyson's? In what regard? Sorry? The stone was stone, what level would you think? <coughs> Is that the same how would their development compare? I don't really understand the question. What he's saying is, you know, at Ewing's age compared with Tyson was at his age. What was the comparison? The only difference is when Tyson was 21, he never had the world camps, he never had the world class barring that Ewing's had. So that's the only thing you can say that's different between the two. Because where Tyson's where he is, it's obviously helped Ewing a great deal as well because he shared in all of his camps, which when, he, when Tyson was 21, he never had that. Basically, I, I only turned pro five fights ago. So I'm five and oh as a professional me room. Because the rest of it was out drinking, out with women of the night and all hours. And then I come in the next day and fight 12 rounds and knock someone out. So that's the answer to that question. 
uni is on a, a much, much supreme level to what I was on at 21. Because I, I, well, I'm still a fat pig now, but it was even worse for them. And I didn't take it serious at all. So there, there's, there's the answer to that question. I could just go in there and do what I had to do on natural ability. It only takes you so far, doesn't it, before you have to get uh, become unstuck. Any more questions from the public? When you go to cat club? What? When you go to cat club? Oh, when? I don't know yet. I think we're going to go in about three weeks before, do extra load of training, and then get in and get him out of there. Be a different camp this time, my friend was saying, because we're expecting a different fight. I'm just going to stand still and trade out with him. You know, whoever wins, wins, and whoever doesn't, doesn't. So that, that's why we're only going to do three week, weeks. I'm going to lift a lot of weights, and I'm going to stand there and have a slugfest. With Vlad. Hope for the best. Tyson, Tyson, do you think um, with you winning that world title, it's a lot the heavyweight division? Do you feel, just say Klitschko does win, which I don't think he will win, but if he did, do you think the heavyweight division is taking a step back if he somehow uh, won that fight? Not really, because it showed what a great champion he was, wasn't it? Listen, he'd become the only man in history to win the heavyweight title four times, only like, lose it, win it, lose it, win it, lose it, win it. So, listen, make no mistake, you know Vladimir put his fist through Wilder and his fist through AJ, and there isn't no more to contest with. I'm not even going to mention Lucas Brown. So, there is no more heavyweights. The only man who could ever beat Klitschko was me, you're looking at him. And I've done it through unorthodox positions, unorthodox style, unorthodox approach to things. That's how you beat them men. How you beat robots is do unorthodox things. Touch the floor, punch them in the face, whatever you want. Spin around in a circle, kick your leg up, and hit them on a one-two. They're not used to it. The robots, they've learned it all out of a book. What I have, what I've got, can't be taught, can't be learned. If you haven't got it, you haven't. Him, him in the back there will tell you that. Nasi Muhammad, he was the master of it. If you couldn't do it, listen, you go to Brendan Ingalls' gym, you either get knocked out or you're a winner. Simple. Everyone can't do what they, they teach. You haven't got it, you haven't. Come on, Naz, don't be quiet in the back. And it's all about you, just, just keep going, you're doing really well. <laughs> Cheers, and keep being cheeky, and then you'll be at it. Because you're about my weight, you are. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm being glad. Forget AJ, I want to give you a first defence. <laughs> Come on, stop. <laughs> Probably would. Stop, but we're going to talk about that. You're world champion. You've done amazing, and uh, I'm just happy that Frank's beside you. Good man. This is my son, Sammy Frank. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. He's bigger than you are. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, any let's more get questions? Let's, let's get back to Tyson, let's get back to you. Yeah, this, ain't, this ain't the Prince show, this is the King show. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, <laughs> these questions. Prince is my son's name, by the way, for all I don't know. That's a good name. I named him after you, actually. Because you're my favourite fighter from England, anyway. Thank you, big respect. And if you watch me, I try and do things that you used to do, but I'm about 10 stone heavier. <laughs> <laughs> it might look a bit more awkward, a bit slow, but it's effective still. <laughs> I'll give you that. Uh, must be. Any more? Any more questions? Are we all shot out after four questions? Tyson, how much do you actually enjoy being champion and now having the opportunity to do things your way? It is what it was. I'd done them all my way when I was a challenger, didn't I? I told you it was a Tyson Fury show. It isn't anybody else's show. No, you're not a big, big stage, isn't it? It is, it is, but it's always been a big stage. Being a big undefeated everywhere, was a loud mouth. It's usually a big stage around the world. So, it was. It's been, it's been good. I've enjoyed the road. I've enjoyed it all. I know I feel champion is what it is, isn't it? Just another step closer to uh, whatever you're looking for. And I've still not found it yet, so it must still be out there. Are there any more questions? Frank, you don't really believe there's going to be another heavyweight fight on the line, do you? No, there's not. We know there's not. And even if there was, who's he going to fight? They haven't got. They haven't booked Wembley. That's a load of rubbish because we had Wembley booked because it was going to be. We were trying to put a big show together at Wembley, um, so they haven't got that booked. Um, and even if they did go to Wembley. Who is Anthony Joshua going to fight? I, I can answer that question. Not, out with, not filling out with Malik. I can, I can answer the question, Frank. What we do is we go to the end, right? We charge travel for the tickets, yeah? 
travel for the pay-per-view. I fight Clutch Go first, beat him. Then I fight AJ and beat him on the same night. So that's his problem. He fight me twice. On two nights, same night. He's, it, the, he's fighting Malik Scott, so I understand next. But that, whoever it is, that, that's not going to fill no stadiums. And is it Malik Scott or Malik Scott? Malik Scott was beaten by Derek Chisora in five rounds. Stopped. Yeah, absolutely. Didn't yeah. he shit himself? I won't get back up after nine seconds. <laughs> Didn't he wait till like ten he, seconds? To he, was, he was a what we call him in the niner. We see yeah, one of those the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. No, he, he's fighting Malik Scott. Well, that's what I hear. But if it's not Malik Scott, who is he going to fight? to go on the same night. It's just rubbish. It's a stupid comment to make. It never was going to happen. And it's an insult to the fans and to you guys. You're going to go do both shows. Why would you go there and do that? It's ridiculous. But I think being very sensible, what's, what this is all about today is guys here, and more importantly Tyson, that the show is on at the MEN Arena on the 9th of July. Definitely 100% on that night. And it'll be broadcast. You haven't got can't get a ticket because it will be a sellout. It'll be broadcast on Box Nation. Live and exclusive. Because Sky Sports couldn't afford it. But Box Nation could. So there we are. We're on. That's it. Come on, Frank. We're struggling. We're well. struggling now, aren't we? I mean, I we've had to pawn everything to buy the fight, but we did it. And, uh, no, we're, we're, we're very <laughs> listen, listen, for, for Box you Nation. Want the best, you've got to pay for it. We're, we're, we're cool with that, and that's what we're about. We're a boxing <laughs> champion. Champ, uh, chan, uh, channel and what we've done with the Amir, Amir Khan fight against Alvarez. We've got the two two biggest fights involving British fighters this year, bar none. There aren't too big too many too bigger fights than that involving British fighters this year. Real fights, you know, real fights against real challengers or champions. That's what it is, and we're delighted. And we'll be announcing another one next week, which I think everybody's going to be shocked when they hear that one. So. For Box Nation, and I'm here speaking on behalf of Box Nation, we are absolutely del delighted. We're going from strength to strength, and we're slowly but surely in our fifth year getting there. And as an ambassador for uh, and a role model for Box Nation, I'd just like to come on. He's got two biggest fights. Give can, I, give just, can I just have the floor for a minute, people, while I just say what I have to say and put everything into perspective from a father's point of view? Eddie Aim, the ringmaster, because I was a circus act uh, last weekend, as we all know. Let's put it right. You know the reason why you can't get proper interviews here? And it's like games and small talk. Because it's a respect thing. When you use lot, respect my son and give him what he deserves, he can get some proper interviews with proper sense. At the minute, he's toying with all of you. Because he hasn't, he's got about as much respect for you lot as you have for him. You know, and I just think it's time you should get behind an homegrown Manchester man who's done the impossible and give him the credit he deserves. Because let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. First of all, the IBF belt. It's a wonder they're not doing jail over it because it was theft against the person, Tyson Fury. They planned it from word one. They thought we can't beat Tyson Fury, so we've got to steal the belt so Anthony Joshua can get a world title. Well, let's put it this way. Anybody who can sell an arena out in minutes, they're going to look after him. And I'll tell you now, I would back Anthony Joshua in every defence he has, apart from my son, to win that put me house on it. Because he can't lose. Because they're running the circus act. Here, there is no circus act. It's the real deal. And does people want to see the real deal? Looking at all yous, laughing and joking at bullshit. I'm, I'm, I'm astounded. You know, you're businessmen. You're meant to be paid for men. You're going all around the world and you're playing games like school kids in a playground. Get real, this is the real deal. He's the best heavyweight in the world. And you know what? Good luck to Eddie Hearn. They're brilliant at the job, they've done a fantastic job with him. Listen, if I him, I drop him up in cotton wool, he's laying the golden eggs at the minute, and he will be for some time. You know what? Because the public love, love anything. A common job, they'll get right behind it. And that's what I've said, right from word one. How can anybody take Anthony Joshua's night last night real. Come on, you've been around, around boxing all his lives. You, you report the most world type that's ever been, and you can't tell me you don't see a circus act. I've nothing said about it. You know what, if you come out and you just fell over that kid, you've got behind him, Anthony Joshua's the best in the world. Even the bookies have got the cheek to put Joshua favourite. And who's he fought? I'll tell you who he's fought, nobody. 
Gillian White was her only real test yet, and look what happened. How has he got from that level to that level in a few weeks? Come on. Say it, you bring it. Don't take a lot of working out. This man is heavyweight champion of the world, there's nobody to beat him. Let's hope to keep doing the job with Joshua. I urge the public, and listen to this, make this fight. Get Joshua to get in the ring with my son. It's up to you, public, because Eddie Earl will never take that fight. The British public, the world has to demand it. But I'll tell you what, that's the long and the short of it, but I'll tell you what, people, show a bit more respect to a king. Not just he's a gypsy, forget that. Look into the sport. It's a sport of boxing. Look into that, you know. And believe me, if you think some novice can take my son after the performance he done on, a, on half hearted against Klitschko, he's in dreamland. Let's make this fight as quick as we possibly can. Because I tell you now, see those men, the Deontay Wilders, all the rest of them, they couldn't beat my son on the same night. They will prove it to be around years. They're going to make more money than my son. You know why? The public want it that way. Oh, you want about that. that. So let me just say, yes they will. Let me tell you. <laughs> These people here, they want Joshua to defeat you more than life itself. All of you. And I can see through all of you. You're not behind Tyson because I'll tell you why. We're real people. We say it as it is. And people like that never get any respect. I've been down on back in my life. I know what it is and I know real men are speaking to them. Not paper, plastic people. So what you're going to have to do is pull your socks up, all of you. And all, these all, up. all these interviews here are pointless because the paying public don't hear bullshit like what's going on here. I'm shocked I've come here today, four hours in a car, to watch this ping pong game for some schoolboys. Yeah, ask some serious questions, show some serious respect, or you'll get some back. You'll get proper inward interviews, not bullshit, wasting people's time. I don't That's all you're saying about you, Bill. I think everyone does respect it. No, they don't, mate. You're having a laugh. Mate. I think you're talking about the mainstream. You are having a no, laugh, I, 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 You know, there's not one genuine question been asked here today. Well, I certainly respect him. I think well, well, show it then. Show it. I'll get the rest of the world. Show it to him. Because I tell you that it's a joke from where I'm sitting. This man is the best thing that's ever come off these shores. And has he got any respect? He's not even on no billboards, no quiz games, no nothing. You've got David A. what's a nobody, a bloke of cruiserweight. He's on every billboard, his name's everywhere, he's on every show. Where's my son? Nowhere. Because nobody else know. Well, that, you know why? Because it's a racism. That's all it's about. Racism. He's from the wrong background. If he was out of Peckham Estate, he'd be having tea with the Queen Mother, he'd be talking about no top bus. <laughs> Come on, let's get real. And I tell you, they all come from our community, because we're not circus acts. We fight for pride. I've done 12 years for a fight, that's how much pride means to me, an old man. So what's he going to do? He ain't bothered about the money. When he climbs to that ring, his life's on the line, his pride. 300 years, a generation, bloodlines. That's what we're fighting for. Billy Joe Saunders the same way. We're travelling people, we're wandering out. And we've been discriminated for 2,000 years. But we're on top today, and I'll tell you now, in the middleweight division, we're staying on top, and in the heavyweight division, we're here for years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Last question, show a bit of respect. Let's have some proper questions, please. Let's start over again. John, can I have an exam, please? <laughs> <laughs> Tyson, how many rounds does it take to knock Joshua out? One, Bill. That's a good question. Let's go. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, we are where we are, and I'll just say, I'll just, I'll know, I'll know where uh, John's coming from when he says what he says. And there are guys, and I've got to say, there are guys here who do rate Tyson, and, and there are guys who have given him respects, and there are other. I mean, basically, let's get it right. What it is, sports editors, they like the Anthony Joshua story, it's a good story, and so forth. And, and we all know sometimes uh, how, how stories uh, get changed or whatever when they get back to newspapers. But the bottom line is, this man is the real heavyweight champion in the world. He's the guy that done it, and he will be having his fight on the 9th of July in Manchester against the next best heavyweight on the planet, who is Vladimir Klitschko. And uh, we're all looking forward to it. And after that, if there's more talk of Anthony Joshua is an easy way to find out who's the best fighter, just make the fight. It's as simple as that. And uh, we forget all this role model crap and all the rubbish that goes with it. This is boxing we're in, it's about who's the best fighter, who's the, who's the guy who should be the number one. And at the moment this is the number one. And the only way Anthony Joshua is going to become number one is beating him. It's the only way it can happen. And uh, to say this, 
pushing an open door, I believe, to get the fight on. But the most important thing is, Tyson can't take his eye off the ball on the ninth. Exactly. That is, that's that's exactly. all that matters at the moment. <clears throat> Anthony Joshua don't matter. None of those other guys matter. The only one that matters and who's in his way is Klitschko. And that's the guy he's got to focus on. And I know better than anybody, these guys all at the table here uh, will be doing that. Anyway, I don't think there are, any, are there any more questions or are you you're done? All done? Very Thank nice. you very much. And we look forward to seeing you uh, in the next week or so when they the guys get together for the press conference with Klitschko. Thank you.